Det var en dålig. Dylan, the Bucks did not draft an inside linebacker this year. We've got a couple of guys, Levante, David KG, regular in contract years. Was that looking at the depth chart part of the reasoning why you wanted to, to sign with Tampa Bay, the opportunity to come in? And yes, sir. Uh, Oh, yeah, so, you know, I definitely looked at, like, all the teams that called me, I looked at who they had in line, how many backers they had in the room. And then, you know, I got Levante and KJ, so I, I got guys I could learn from. You know, I'm coming here to be a sponsor, so learn as much as possible, and just, you know, just try to take in what I can and just learn as much as I can. So this part, this is what's the best choice for me to come here, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far from day one. This franchise has a pretty well-documented <laughs> To my Derrick Brooks, oh, yeah, just learning from him, you know. System, yeah, different system, but you know, he was around the whole season. So, um, just like you said, underside, just coming in. I feel like this is the program that I could, you know, succeed in, whether because a lot of blitzes, a lot of man coverages. So, you know, that's what I'm used to at playing at Florida State, and then you know, just hit to make plays and do what I do. Dilo, <laughs> what's your plan, you know, weight wise? This offseason working on size and such. You're at 210 at the combine. Not yeah. sure I wasn't pro day, but. What is your uh, pro day? I was 216, but I plan on being uh, 220. So, you know, throughout the season, just get to 220 and just play my role. You know, like I say, be a sponge and wherever they need me, I'm going to just fit in. You put up 23 reps, too. Pro yes, day. sir. You know, what does that say about to your strength that you bring? To me, I feel like, you know, uh, I'm strong. To me, I feel like my size don't matter. I, I'm, I'm going to make you, I like to play in space. So, you got to, once you get your hands on me, then I'm going to try to get off you. But most of the time, I'm trying to make you play in space and play my game and just, you know, just do me. And I am able to get off blocks, you know what I'm saying? So that's just what I do. <laughs> it's not a, a huge weight gain right there, although I know a lot of guys this time of year, it's hard for them to keep weight on when they're running so much. For you, what, what would that entail? <laughs> Maybe just an extra protein shake at night or just kind of, um, you know, pushing the poundage just a little bit more in the weight room? How, how, how would that go for you? Definitely an extra protein shake. And then I, I try to eat peanut butter jelly every night, just to eat a sandwich. So it just keeps something on my stomach that I stick throughout the next day. So that's, that's my goal, just make sure I eat a peanut butter jelly and an extra shake. Now, is that a nutritionist that advised you to do the PBJ and the protein shake at night? Or is that just something you really enjoy having? Uh, every yeah, nutritionist, and then my pops told me, and then I got a trainer back home who told me. So if three people tell me, I might as well do it. <laughs> yesterday like in terms of just making you feel aware of the speed of everything happening around you? I uh, say first day is first day. You know, you got to try to get used to everything. You're trying to understand so much in such little time. But I feel like we if we can we communicated very well to make it things very easy. So um, just to keep that rolling on today too and just making sure we focus on the little things and you know, just do our job. You know? I feel like we had a, we got a good good day one so far. You know, just keep stacking days. They talk about you playing you know, inside. You can play multiple positions. Or also maybe nickel if you had to. Like yes, sir. Just that versatility, you're having to kind of learn a little bit of everything right now. Oh uh, yes, sir. Well, I played through my linebacker at Florida State. I played all three positions, so I'm used to playing outside the box, inside the box, the boundary. So, just I think that really helped me a lot to understand, you know, all three spots. So, you know, doing the practice film study, I'm trying to learn all three spots because you never know where I, I could be used. So, make sure. Special teams is big too, right? Oh yes, sir. Definitely on special teams. Big on special teams. I was gonna say, can, do you have any idea? I know it's just your second day, but as far as like your involvement on special teams, I mean, the more you can do, the better. Oh uh, yeah, the more I'm trying to get involved on any special teams I can get into. So whatever coach got me on a depth chart, I'm trying to just make it, make sure I put my best effort each day. You know, just trying to work my way up on any special teams. What about the fact that this team literally had an undrafted free agent rookie start at nickel last year? Just I guess how uh, how encouraging is that for you, or inspiring is that knowing? Yeah, just make it most of the opportunity, like you say, you never know when your number going to be called. So for him to step into that role and, you know, succeed in that role, it, it definitely gives me confidence because, you know, like I say, you never know when your opportunity is. Just take advantage of the opportunity and make the most of it. Who are some of the, the NFL linebackers when you put on some tape and watch and try to you know, steal some tips and tricks from, yeah. from film? Who are some of the guys that you would want? You know, it's crazy. Like, during my training process, we watched a lot of Tampa Bay because my coach, uh, he, he coached, I think, Coach Doug. So he got some connections. He always put up KJ Britt, and um, I watched um, Darius Leonard because you know he's undersized as well. So just by the way he plays, so those are the guys I really watch most of the time. I know you're 
you're only one day into the process, but when did it hit you that wow moment that I'm a pro right now? Uh, really, when I got that call. Like, I got to, it's like when I got that call, it's like, okay, I got to change my ways. Like, it's different from college to, to, to the pros because I had a schedule every day. But now I got to get up and do it on my own. I got to, like, train on my own and do things like that. So I got to get something I got to get used to. But, you know, that's that's really when that moment hit me. Last question, please. In terms of signing with the Bucks, did you pursue them more than they pursued you? Or did they pursue you more than you pursued them? How did this, this uh, kind of marriage between uh, I really got the call like as the draft was towards the end of the draft. They called my my agent, and then my agent put me on the phone with them. So from there, he was like, it was a no brainer. Like this is probably the best opportunity for you. You know, you learning from two great guys, two vets at that. So, you know, it was a no brainer for for me to come here. Were the Bucks at the top of your list? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, how, many, how many other teams reached out? I had five other teams: the Bills, the Jets, Seahawks, uh, here, and then and I think it was one more. I can't remember, but. Kellen, thank you. Thank y'all.